with the talents of Brett Whiteley, Martin Sharp and Peter Kingston to name a few. Fellow artist Gary Shedd was part of that set and spent much of his early career experimenting with film by filming his contemporaries. Now those films have been salvaged, restored and released on DVD. Rebecca Bailey reports. It's a celluloid treasure trove featuring a who's who of Australia's contemporary art scene. Well, historically, they're very important that they're actually on film, otherwise it's just everybody's memories. And I think we all kind of look from our own perspective and through our own eyes, so we've all got kind of different takes on those things. They're like a window to another time. They were on 16mm, and so uh, they're just in the old rusty can, so I, I dragged them around from, <laughs> from one place to the other. And uh, about a year ago, I thought, oh, I should um, put these on DVD. Gary Shedd is one of Australia's most celebrated artists. His career has spanned half a century including winning the coveted Archibald Prize in 1993. I paint my life, really. What's important to me? It's figurative, obviously. It's probably in the tradition of, you know, Nolan, all those, those artists, going back to the Renaissance, of course. But Gary Shedd's career as an experimental filmmaker in the 1960s and 70s is not so well known. Gary was a wonderful filmmaker. He was really like a pioneer. We can say there was a new wave. He was the first ripples of it. And crackers in bed. Films were my way of experiencing the world and experiencing the world through my friends. It was like making a diary of my uh, experiences. Gary Shedd's films star his artist friends as actors, including this one, Ding-a-Ding -ding Day, which was started in 1961 and took six years to make. It features artist Martin Sharp and author Richard Neville, Shedd's mates on the controversial Oz magazine. started making films on his own, which I thought was very daring and they were very romantic, you know, in their nature. And uh, I admired very much his uh, passion, you know. Certainly in the 60s there was a kind of common aim and a feeling about creativity and we all kind of came together arch enemy of criminals the world over. The but film Phanta, a tribute to the ghost who walks, was the brainchild of Shed and fellow phantom devotee and artist, Peter Kingston. Phantom, it was all phantom. And uh, I don't think the obsession's quite died yet. But uh, 40 years ago, it was, was full blaze obsession. And the film came out of the toys and the paintings. Where am I? Peter Kingston plays the Phantom, and Wendy Whiteley is the damsel in distress. Brett Whiteley even makes a cameo. He wanted to be mysterious, so he, he didn't let us film him from the front. We could just get that little shot of him in the car, rescuing the Phantom. I just look at myself in those days and think, oh my God, Wendy, you need a facelift now. You know, but <laughs> not, I don't know about ageing gracefully, but it was fun to make. How do we get onto the railway line? The friends still all get together and reminisce about the good old days. Gary, I think she was more over, over here. You tell her where to go. Where you over there, to over there, Wendy. That's it. Now <laughs> While their memories the on machine. finer details may differ, they agree that the film's value lies in the depiction of lost worlds including scenes of Sydney past. That's the pleasure I get out of seeing that film, is, is these beautiful things that um, were back only 40 years ago. 
I love the humour of it and the Sydneyness of it. It could only be made in Sydney and the humour of it and, you know, the wonderful uh, casting. <laughs> He's been great, hasn't he? Gary Shedd met Martin Sharp at art school in the early 60s and they've worked together on projects sure. ever since, including Luna Park and as cartoonists on the Bulletin. <laughs> Martin Sharp created many of the iconic pop art images of the times, but now he's very ill with emphysema, and Gary Shedd's painting a final portrait of his close friend. I hope I survive long enough for him to do it, but uh, I'm sure I will with his help. He's a wonderful friend. Martin's whole life, is, as long as I've known him, has been considering eternity you could say. And Martin just took that eternity idea to the extreme. I mean, he's, he's turned it into fantastic art. I mean, we're all going to die. Um, and we've, we're getting ready for it. For Gary Shedd, preserving his films provides a cinematic archive of a vibrant cultural era and an extraordinary camaraderie. There was a kind of sense of a group of people, you know, with a positive kind of attitude about creativity and changing the world, probably, and then we all get tired. It's interesting to look back on. Do you think these films provide any insight into that, that world? Oh, yes, yes. Well, I that we were friends then and we're friends now. That's good. Rebecca Bailey reporting. And that's the program for tonight. Remember, you can join us at facebook.com slash abc730 and on...